What's happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and I'm bringing you another free roam mission in Watch Dogs today. So I've been working on the CTOS points, um, trying to get them all knocked out. This is our next one, so we need probably that L train point there. How close am I to an L train? Hey, you never called me back. Did you find the guy we traced? Yeah. Some bad history there. All right, so we're gonna try and hit the L train here. I think it's listen. I yeah, need to find someone way. else. This time I have a name, Elena Tucci. She's related to a guy I'm after. Does she live in Chicago? Yeah, I need a location. The train's right there. there. Fuck. Got her. I gotta hurry. Wow, she's got a serious digital footprint. Okay, this morning she posted about a meeting today outside the Willis Tower. All right, I'll call you when no, I'm there. No, is the train there? You may need more help. No. Train's not there. What the hell it looked like it was. Oh well. Either way, I found out that you don't need to wait for the train. The train's great for escaping well, cops, and I feel like it only shows up when you are escaping the cops for some reason now. I mean, every time I uh, I need to escape cops, it shows up. But you can go right here. Fast travel station. Taking the blue line right down to here. And for fast travel, this is sure has taken a while. And there we go. Don't hit me, train! Online race. I don't care about an online race. Driving in this game is horrible to begin with. Alright, so once we get all the CTOS is knocked out, we'll be, uh, good shape. Actually, while we're running over there, we'll start a, uh, we'll try and get an invasion. I don't know if we're going to find anybody. <laughs> oh, damn. Found somebody real quick. What? Join failed. Come on, man. Fucking people just... You know, oh, bad guy. It's a robber. He stole something. Thief. Nine one one. What's your emergency? You don't need to be calling nine one one. Shit. Fuck, man. Nine one one. Please state your emergency. Yeah, we've got a shooter. You gotta stop him. Let's see if I can just hide right here. I don't think this is going to protect me, but... Nope, it did not. Well, we need to head over to here. And we'll keep searching for a target in the meantime. A patrol car has been dispatched after the suspect. No, oh, I refuse to pull over. There we go. Nothing like hacking somebody to get rid of the cops. Let's see. One of our high value targets is in town. We need you to hack them and install a back door for us. See, once I get within range to hack him, then I can set the rule for where this hack is going to happen. I just gotta catch up to him. Man. 
man. Got a minute to start the initiate. You gotta believe. So we go right here. This looks like a good spot. I don't think he'll come around that way. I don't think he'll come all the way over here. Yeah, I've been finding that, that hiding in like like little dark spots like this is especially good. People will uh will have a lot harder time locating you if you're just like in the shadows like this, like not necessarily like hidden anywhere crazy hard to find, but oh, shit, there he is. Yes, run right past me, Mr. Crash. While I get all that data. <laughs> Never even looked. Never even decided to come down this way. I love how it's like a, a run of desperation too. Once you hack somebody, they're just like, fuck, I gotta find this guy. They start sprinting all over and they get more and more desperate. He probably thinks I'm down on the street now, so I'd say I'm home free at this point. I'm gonna light a little cigarette, enjoy my coffee. That's right, Mr. Crash, where am I at? Almost to 75% running out of time. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> yes, go down the stairs. I got this. This one's clean. Oh nope, he's coming back up. Ten percent. Five percent. I got it. Nice. That worked out beautifully. Yes, it did. Womp womp womp. Damn, 1,000 XP? Shit, I need to do this more often. This is great. Um, Alright, so what else do I want to level up? Disable reinforcement calls. Ooh, that's big. Um, actually, we're going to get an extra battery slot. That'll be quite helpful. And let's do road spikes. And... Uh, how far are we from... Uh, oh damn, it put us all the way over in the loop. Um... Uh, do 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 do. <coughs> oh, here we go. CTOS region I haven't unlocked yet. Let's go check it out. So the way it works basically, you have the like looking at the map real fast. Um, you have these CTOS systems, and those are what will unlock like key points on the map, like how you can see. You know, the hot spots, the infrastructures, it'll show stuff like that. Um, this one, though, the full system, district monitoring, until you get that, you can't even, like, really hack the people in that area. So that one, those are the ones that you basically have to get to, like, I don't know, it's hard to put it in. Like, think of those as, like, your big, big viewpoint, if it was, like, Assassin's Creed, that would uh, reveal the map. And then uh, the little towers, think of those kind of like your, um, I guess, your treasure maps.
and I have been putting some stats into the driving, so driving is getting a little bit easier for me. I mean, the cars don't just outright blow up like they would in, in GTA. They'll just get this, like, you know, the, I guess, cloud of smoke or whatever it is, but... The future is now, Dan, in a nutshell. CTOS is groundbreaking technology. We're promoting efficiency, comfort, and safety. A smart city. Exactly. Charlotte, what makes CTOS smart? A city is a complex web of infrastructure maintenance and upkeep. Actually, we're going to knock this one real quick while we're right here, and then we'll go to the, uh, the city infrastructure one. Can't get up there. Loop around here. I kind of like these, though. They're, they're fun little puzzles. Keeping me on my toes. Alright, so it's back there. I'm going to need a camera. Gotta be a camera somewhere I can use to get a view of what's going on over there. Go this way. No, that's barbed wired off. Oh god, almost fell off right there. Are there any cameras back here I can snag? No. Hmm. Oh, this one might be a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. Alright. Ah, there it is. Of course, right in plain sight. Alright, got the first gate system. Is that where it's at? Right there? Huh, I'm going back there. I gotta get a camera that's... Mm. You know what? It might be, um... Where did that one, that, that first camera, unlock something? So I need to get, like, this gate open. see if I one of these uh, one of these doors has to open up to let me get in there to some way yeah right there there's the ladder that I need question is what's holding down this gate hmm it's got to be something that I didn't see with that initial camera <coughs> all right so that's the CTOS tower got that switch Wait a minute. I think I can enter this from the the back dock there. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. They're already open. So to get you open, where are you going? You're going over this way. Where's this data line running to? Right here. 
All right, we are in. Another tower knocked down. Can't hide your secrets from me. There was actually one earlier that was really hard, um, and I'm only mentioning this because I'm sure some people will, I mean hopefully that helps some people mentioning it here, I don't know, but there was one kind of in, um, in I guess the, like the ghetto area of Chicago, and there's a, uh, a crane lift that, that's lifting up a big crate, but there's a gate in front of you, and I tried to like climb on top of the crane, then lift it up, then jump over the gate, and couldn't get it, and eventually... The way that I found to get it was to, like it was, like I said, it was lifting like a big shipping container. So I got in a car, drove the car into the shipping container, opened the, uh, or lifted the crate up into the air, then drove the car, ooh, sorry, drove the car um, off the crate through the fence that was blocking my way to the CTOS tower. And then it was unlocked. But I would have, like, I mean, it took, that one took me a while. I was like, you know, how the fuck do I get over this gate? Like I said, I was climbing up ladders and climbing on top of the crane and doing all sorts of things. And then I finally was like, you know what? Fuck this. Hopped in the car, boom, gate falls down, and we were in. So, um, yeah, a lot of these, I, I kind of like it, because, you know, it's... Like in Assassin's Creed, getting your, your sync points, you know, they weren't exactly hard. It was just... You know, you could pretty much just hold up and B and close your eyes, and um, and you would get it. What was that? Remember? I don't know what that is. But um, in this, like, you actually gotta think sometimes to to get these, like, because sometimes, like, the early ones, it's easy enough where you can do it almost entirely with your camera, and then later on, it gets to the point where. Um, you know, <clears throat> like with that last one, like we used the camera to unlock the initial door and then we had to hop over the ledge, go down towards the dock side and, and come up that way. So it, it gets mixed up in, in how you access them. Oh boy, I'm glad I didn't go through that. Right, and a region unlock. So this would be fun. The region unlocks, um, you can kind of think of them like, uh, I don't know, there's nothing, I mean in Assassin's Creed I guess it would be similar to like taking like a full base from somebody, or in Far Cry like liberating an outpost. But um, yeah, the guys will pretty much shoot on sight, and as you can see we have an ACR we're going in with. It cost me $30,000, but I figure with his, uh, as much fighting as I'm doing, um, better have, uh, you know, one of the best guns available. So I picked up an ACR. Almost no recoil, really high damage. Excellent choice for, uh, dispatching my foes. Next I'm gonna get us a snipe rifle. Uh, might be able to get this with a silenced shot. Nope, that did not hit. Come on. Fuck it. Let's take our ACR out. Oh, maybe not, he's coming down this way. Alright, he goes down. This actually kind of reminds me of Splinter Cell, which, incidentally enough, is another uh, Ubisoft title, so... Ooh, frag grenade. Cool. So you can see that they kind of, like, took aspects of all of their games and put it into one. I mean, you got, like, the stealth gameplay, you have, um, like, the stealth from Assassin's Creed, you kind of have this stuff, which is, like, your outpost liberation from Far Cry. 
shit, what am I doing? Didn't want to do that. You got your silence, silent style of play that you can use from uh, Splinter Cell. That's actually a game I'd like to go back to if I had the time. Suffers from kidney stones. Ugh. Well, I probably did a good thing by taking them out. What kind of arms are they using here? Can't pick it up means I already have it. Reinforcements are the last thing I feel like dealing with right now. Good old ACR. I mean, yeah, as you can see, you know, you have a bunch of different ways to go through this. You could disrupt comms, blow up headsets, go in without ever being detected, shoot your way through. Um, so, I like it that it gives you, like, all these different options. Makes it pretty entertaining that, you know, you're not limited to just one one style of play to, to get into these places. It's really however you want to. And, oh my god, I'm not paying attention. And meanwhile, shit is going down. Um... Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta get to that thing first. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright. I haven't really been watching these video logs, I've just been collecting them. Some of them are pretty weird. There was one where this guy was like jacking off with a thing of popcorn. Right, I think that's all of them. No other spot hacks. Okay. To the system we go. The grid's lit up. District access unlocked. Alright, that's our next stop, and I think we're going to just try and take a boat here, cut straight across, save us some time. Put away my good old ACR, we're not going to need that. Another thing I learned while bebopping around is if you need parts, you can see how I have like all this stuff, craft them up, um, spare parts for these, like the computer stuff I have that I'm using right now, you get those from the pawn shops. So you can go to the pawn shops and steal stuff like, uh, like watches or jewelry, anything that you just happen to find. And then, um, 
Alright, I need to get one of these boats here. Oh, shit. Hmm, what's going to be the best way to snag a boat? Fuck. No, that's my ACR. Okay, here we go. Civilian knockdown. Oh, son of a bitch. Did all that and there's a fucking speedboat right here. I feel like an asshole now. I'm like, gotta kill this guy and get that fucking boat. No, no, really, you didn't. So he's got to pop out of this channel and we're pretty much there. You can avoid the uh, bridge and mountain systems altogether. Those cops, they're looking for me? They never find me, coppers. I'm taking the waterways. Ha, ha, ha. As long as they don't look for a, a boat that's terrible at piloting, they'll never catch me. I mean, at the same time, though, you know, like, as much as I, I'm not a fan of the driving, like, aside from this, I mean, the only other game I can think of that Ubi's done with, like, open world driving is Far Cry. So, in their defense, you know, I think that they did a decent job. Like, GTA didn't have it perfect the first time around, so I think they did all right. Could it be better? Sure, but, you know, for, I mean, this is Ubi's real first, like, I guess, gta -S game where it's, like, full open world and, you know, you're just in around. Like, I mean, well, Assassin's Creed's like open world, but, you know, it's a different kind of open world. You're not running around in a city messing with people. I mean, regardless, I think it's worth the buy. It's definitely good enough that you can spend plenty of time dicking around in game. Which actually, once I get. Ooh, a clown fetish. Weirdo. Once I get uh, enough stuff done, I decided. Um, I noticed that just based on, like, the little fights I get in, like, if somebody tries to call the cops, I'll shoot them down, you know? Like, sure enough, you know, I'm not going to let them call the police and then deal with the police chase. But, um, like, my level of, like, I was, like, protector with reputation. Bloom operator, you're on a secure line. Go ahead. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. You ain't calling anyone. If they call Bloom Operators, that puts out a contract on you that other players will come and try to collect. I'm not dealing with that shit. Um, there we go. I'm just trying to find a way up. There we go, camera. Alright. So, I think it was right here. It was what I thought would be my, my way up. Yep, there we go. What was that? There was a purple. Oh no, it's an online race? Shit, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm just trying to get over to there. No, I don't want to do the online race, sorry. I just want to get this point, if I can find the... might just be like a free jump type thing, like I just have to go for it. Uh, 
side. So there's the tower. So I have to get over to that that side of the complex for sure. Um, there's a cross right there. Sorry, bro. Can't help you. I'm busy trying to do other things. Looked like there was a connection. Man, could you imagine if I invaded somebody right here and hacked them? Like, there's no fucking way they'd ever be able to find me with all these rooftops all over the place. I would just be like, oh, I lost. Oh, no! Oh, wow. That could have ended really badly. Alright, well, we're down here. We're going to look for a... Uh, path to get up. Um, it's got to be a path to get up on these things, similar to how I got up on this side. So I need the connection to there. Oh, which is right behind me. <coughs> Got it. Another CTOS knocked out. We still got half an hour of shenanigans bebopping around. Alright. Well, we have this one's next. Now we're waiting for that to uh to start. We'll do another contract, see if we can get a contract mix things up a little bit. I mean, I could, honestly, I could just run around and, and just I'll go from unlocking things to unlocking things. Yeah, so that's what I did back when I started Far Cry 3 and I did Assassin's Creed, but I don't want to just run around and get unlockables for an hour, so. We'll, uh, we'll mix it up. We'll unlock some things, took a base, do a couple invasions, keep things entertaining for you guys. Um, I know I've had a couple people asking for a stream. I know Twitch shut down streaming till the 27th, which is stupid because certain people are allowed to stream, but with Twitch putting a global DMCA ban on it, I couldn't stream even if I wanted, so um, I might end up doing a stream Monday night on YouTube. Otherwise, I'll end up doing some streams once Twitch lifts the, uh, the DMCA ban, so we'll see. One way or another, there will be Watchdog streams for you guys, so... Strong defense, huh? Let's see. One of our high value targets is in town. We need you to hack them and install a back door for us. Ooh, target has a bounty too, huh? <gasps> gotcha! zip into the city a little bit and then initiate <laughs> Do you see 
see me? Do you know where I went? I don't think you do. Oh, man. <clears throat> I think I just dipped this guy real hard. And this car is not very uh, inconspicuous either with like a wheel popped up on the curb, but... It's like just enough that it might not uh it might not pull up any red flags, we'll see. <clears throat> oh man, if he comes this way, I'm starting the car and I'm booking it. I'm not letting him capture me. Like I said, aside from that French guy that I spawned next to and was shot down the second I got in the game, nobody has stopped my hack so far. See, that would be good up there on the train tracks, just chilling. Look at him sprinting around the city like, where is this guy? Gotta find him. Nobody can hack me. He has to be somewhere. And I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just sulking low in the car. Right past me. Too easy. <laughs> Yo, this is too good. Dude, it's like running circle. Look at him doing like this weird trip thing. Oh man, I think we're gonna have another flawless right here. Oh yeah, this is good. Unless he hits the car. Are you kidding me? How does this guy have a strong hacking defense? Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's the way to do it. Damn. And I got the bounty on him. That was just too easy. Oh boy. Alright, uh, we gotta get up here. There's an L train we can take, so we'll fast travel over. Chicago TV are on the lookout for the individuals behind today's foil data theft. on over, get another CTOS tower, maybe get another invasion. Part of me wants to show you guys the other digital trips, but I mean, I don't think they really compare to Spider Tank. Spider Tank remains supreme as the best, in my opinion. No crime committed, you scared off the criminal? Okay, cool. I wasn't even trying to scare off a criminal, so I'll take it. Up there, I have a feeling I probably got to cross this bridge right here. Little sky bridge. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But you need a digital trip. I got, hey, hey. I got the digital trips already. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> oh, 
His occupation is a swinger. Oh, never mind. He's a stand-up comedian. Swinger is his dirty secret. Oh, huh, can I get in here? No, oh, that would have been too easy. Um... Found it. Take the parking garage up three levels, jump across. You are being invaded. Really now? Oh man. Oh come on. This dude could be in the parking garage, son of a bitch. It's unlikely though. Like I said, a lot of people don't go for the parking garage thing. Despite how smart it would be. Alright, where are you at, buddy? Look for... Parked cars that look... Conspicuous. Get out of here. I ain't taking shit out of my game. Damn, that didn't work out for him. Dude was just trying to just hide in plain sight. It <laughs> doesn't work when I have a CTOS profiler up. See, now if he had been in the parking garage, what's good about that is, I mean, like, you could be all the way up. So, just going up all the levels of the parking garage and then, like, is he in this car? Is he in that car? Like, it, it's a good way, <clears throat> not only is it a good place to hide because, you know, one, it's going to waste somebody a lot of time to search a parking garage, especially one that's, that's really packed, but, like, I mean, if he had been, like, all the way, like, right here, for example, like, that's a lot of space that I would have had to search just hoping to find him, and, uh, I mean, it probably would have, he probably would have gotten away, but walking around right down the street right there, you know, it's... And hiding in plain sight isn't the best tactic in this game. Like, it is, but it isn't. Like, you can you can be in plain sight like I've been doing with the cars, and you'll be effective doing that, but trying to just outright hide in plain sight, like walking around, I mean, without any cover, the, uh, the profiler will just pick you up, and, and you'll get knocked out in a couple seconds, so. Just something to consider for those of you out there that are going to be starting your invasion soon. Alright, so that's what I gotta unlock. There's a ladder. Can't go up that. Can't go up that. Where the hell's it go? It goes all the way around that building? Uh. I can probably just go this way now that I unlock that. No, I gotta get that. So that door, that path looks like it's running through. That unlocked something that I need. <coughs> There's probably a door somewhere that's unlocked that I can go through now that'll help me to solve the rest of this. Okay. 
And we're in. Another one bites the dust. Ba -da -ba -dum. Ba -ba -dum. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Alright. I think that almost gives me all my CTOS towers. I want to say I have maybe two more. Hideout, investigation, collectibles. One CTOS to go. Well, let's knock it out. Let's get all the towers done and then, uh, there we go. And is there an L train stop? There is. The closest L line. Where did it go? I want to try the online tailing. I haven't done that yet. No line's right over here, too. I haven't done a tailing, so this will be interesting. Two grand in that ATM. <coughs> well, let's see. If it doesn't pop within a minute, I'll just cancel it and fast travel and take things from there. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's get, um... I'd rather get my last CTOS tower first, and then I'll, I'll do an online tail if we have time. Having all the goodies on the map unlocked will be uh, quite beneficial from doing the rest of the walkthrough because I think I'm up to part eight of Act One, so still got a lot to go. In total, I think I added up. I want to say there was like 30, I think it'll be a 30, 38, 39 part series right around there. So I'm only on the tip of the iceberg, and I already have probably something like uh, 20 plus hours in the game already. Uh, it's a big fall that might kill me. <coughs> there we go. Hey buddy, you Actually, you know what? I haven't done any um, leveling up in a while. Two points. What can I get with two points? Pistol expert. Nice. I was hoping to snag a car. Alright. Bloom affiliate? Yeah, fuck you. I'll take your money. You've reached Bloom Operator. Status, please. Listen, if you're breaking up. Hello? This is Bloom Operator. Hello? Yep. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'll take the cops. I'm not dealing with Bloom. craft a couple more of these. Come on, this thing the range is just expanding outside. What oh come on, I thought I fucking shut it down. Man. Wee! 
should slow him down a little bit. Or they're just going to go through the fence because they don't give a shit. Um, I don't want to lose them and stay local at the same time. Out of my way! not going to be able to get away with this car. This thing's too damn slow. Bridge. Bridge is perfect. Keep up all the cops on me. Should lose him. We're just gonna get out of the search radius. Alright. And I'm gonna get a quicker car. Would you look at that little little two door sports car. Perfect. This is exactly what I need. Please state the nature of your Are you fucking kidding me? I need you to stay on the line. I think I scared him off from trying to call. I'm here with Mayor Rushmore, probably one of the most powerful mayors in the country. <laughs> no, no. We were talking about opinion polls. Look, Chicago is home to the best people in the world. They know I'm working hard for them, for Chicago. My policy, right, Mr. Mayor? Can we come back to your policy? Oh, it's still down, really. Voter polls. Many of your detractors were crying foul over the poll data. Did the pendulum, <laughs> as you call it, come? <laughs> like how the all these people are just like, I don't give a fuck if the bridge is closed. I understand that there's a transparency that people are looking for, but let's remember that the voters decided. Election day is the only poll that matters. We're here with Mayor Rushmore. Okay, Mr. Mayor, let's talk about CTOS. Yes. Isn't it wonderful? The EOS network is what this city needed to go from great to Well, the car somehow shit out. Can't get it to move. Game show contestant. Alright. Let's see. Alright, so I gotta get up there, huh? Line looked like it went over this way. So that goes. Fuck! I can't get this to go behind. Um. Oh. Oh, I just hacked somebody right there. Damn it! It's 
not going to be enough. I would need one of those big moving trucks. Stage 2 melanoma. You're not going to need that money much longer. Hacking victim from another fixer. Climb up this thing somehow? No, we're not doing that this second. Son of a bitch, man. I wanna, we're like approaching our hour mark and I really wanna get this last tower before things wrap up. There's gotta be something I'm not seeing. That's the only thing I can see right there, and that'll help me to access over there, but I have to get into this area first. So, barbed wire fence. Mm. Alright, that lift. I'll end up using that lift once I'm in. Get anything there? Mm. Well, I'm thinking this might be like that last one where I'm gonna have to use a car, um, climb on top of the car to get over the gate. Cause this thing's not opening. Junction box. Wait a minute. There we go. Damn, 6,000. Nice bank account, bro. Oh, fuck. This camera didn't give me access to anything. I need to get one of those big moving trucks. Bloom operator. Dispatch, you need to get somebody on this hacker ASAP. Get Hello, you've reached Bloom operator. You still there? Nine one one, please state the nature of your emergency. Somebody fire a gun out here. You gotta hurry. I'm not dealing with Bloom. I'm not dealing with cops. I will jam the shit out of CTOS. <clears throat> and this might be high enough. I don't know. No, not enough. Son of a bitch. Not enough either. Oh, man, I'm not going to be able to jam this all day. I'm going to have to deal with the cops in a second. This fucking sucks. Or that might have worked, but my well, guys, it looks like this is going to go longer than an hour because I'm going to have to deal with cops while I try and do this. Really? I can't jump that? Come on! You guys want some of this? Fuck. These guys aren't kidding. Fuck, hit him! I'm gonna take this guy out. 
and now I'm an anarchist. That didn't take long. I can use the same bridge I did before to lose these pricks. Uh, there we go. Oh, man. Barely got past that one. No! And I'm gonna get shot down. I'm curious what happens when you just die in the world. I don't know. It's the first time I've really had it happen. You get a hell of a long loading screen, that's for sure. Curious if they take all my weapons like they would in GTA or... Yes, we'll find out in a second, won't we? And... Nope, all my weapons, all my crafted stuff is still here. Alright, awesome. Well, either way, guys, we're going to call this one for here since I just ended up dying. But, um, of course, there'll be plenty more Watch Dogs to come. Hope you guys are enjoying the free roam for those that don't want to spoil a story. So, stay tuned for more Watch Dogs, and we'll catch you guys next time.